Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an end of day report for trading on Tuesday, April the 12th, 2016. Just wanted to do a quick video just to show you what we were talking about with these red alerts that we had in the market coming into the trading week. It should be noted that the market is setting itself up right now uh, for a correction as we're losing momentum here. You can see momentum's coming down after we made the prior high here on uh, the week of the 28th of March. And we've been whipsawing around intraday, just in incredible volatility on an intraday basis. But we've been having emergency meetings going on, private meetings between the, the Federal Reserve and uh, the, the White House and just a, a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Um, I, I know you've probably heard about the IMF uh, downgrades coming and uh, the lousy earnings uh, season. They're, they're prepping you going into it. So, you know, we're getting prepared for what could be a very terrible earnings season. Well, bottom line is prices has already picked it up. We're due, we're overdue for a correction anyway. As you can see here on this um uh, on the E mini NASDAQ 100, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of straight up action, okay? Only to fail here. We're, we failed to, to, to continue here. And we put in this high of 47.39 and a half back on the week of November the 30th of 2015. And the market's been down ever since then. Momentum's coming off, even though the markets managed to ma uh, rally today and, and close somewhat higher. It's still an inside price action move. We're trading within this bar right here. We haven't broken out. We haven't broken down. We're just doing a lot of waffling around inside of this bar right here. So until we can break out from this high, this previous high, or break below this previous low, this market's going nowhere. Uh, but momentum is starting to roll over here, so it's possible we could start to trade uh, at the lower parts of this bar here going forward. So just a word of caution, I, I'm still looking for that red alert, uh, that possible uh, crash that we have coming by Friday. Uh, taking a look now at uh, the Russell, all of the indexes managed to close up, uh, so that's that's interesting, but again... Once again, here we go, downtrend channel, still getting, still didn't get up above that trend line there, that orange trend line there, still looking weak, uh, nothing has changed, momentum's coming off, uh, taking a look at the Dow, Dow future, same thing, you want to keep your powder dry because when this move comes, it's going to be amazing. All right, the Dow is testing, trying to test the upper parts of its uh, resistance now up here, okay? And again, momentum came off. Tried to do a little something today, powering up, but we're still trading inside of this right here. We didn't break below it, and we really haven't broken above it. We spiked above it here, but we didn't break above it. We spiked and quickly crashed. So it's having trouble. The Dow is having a lot of trouble at the 17,713 level. And failure to, to break and close above that. Uh, by Friday's close is a red, another red flag. So prices as momentum's coming off, the next target to the downside is 17,029. And that looks to be where we are headed, at least in the near term. All right, taking a look here at crude oil, everyone's been talking about how oil has been retracing off of its lows. Uh, it's trying to make a run for this trend line that we talked about in the last video. Uh, 4460 uh, and it's having you know a fun time trying to do it slowly but surely still narrow bars here as we go week to week uh, getting into the overbought part so we're gonna have some problems uh, even if we do spike test this 4460 I see the market hitting this somewhere and then immediately collapsing back down again because you get into the overbought level here. Um, market still in, a, in an overall downtrend, still in a bear market. This is a bull. This is a, a bull market bounce recovery in a bear market. 
So it's a bear market rally. All right. You've, you've seen what happens to bear market rallies. So this is this will be sold. It was sold back here. It's going to be sold here again, and that will push prices below this uh, trend lines uh, support this uh, purple line here. And if it doesn't happen by Friday, it could happen sometime next week. We could just hang out here around this resistance before rolling over. Still bell market though. Uh, looking at the soybeans now. Soybeans managed to rally today on uh, USDA crop reports. This market looks like it's starting to try to come alive here. It just pushed its way inside the Kumo cloud. And the, uh, the $10 mark is now in, in play. It looks like it wants to make a, a run for that. But be aware of any anything that tests or touches or breaks this support. Right now, the support's at 871. If you get prices closed below that, then this uh, bear market rally is over, and this market will roll over fast. Still in a bear market, just like the crude oil, but this one's trying to turn up. It's overbought. Momentum's turned up. All right, but it looks like it's trying to lock in here. Okay. If that happens, then yeah, this is going to push to 1050 and beyond, and these averages will cross above the Kumo cloud and, and, and lift these prices up. So this one's definitely one to watch. And last but not least, the crazy U.S. dollar. All right, it doesn't want to die. It's trying to hang in. Every time it hits a new low, it catapults itself back up again. It, it's it's like a, a a swimmer who's drowning in an ocean and and they're flailing around, um, you know, spasmodically trying to catch breath, trying to not sink and drown. That's what this dollar is doing. It's fighting for dear life. But look, we're getting into the oversold portion here. But the way that it's moving into it, instead of a, a sharp downward one here, this one is extended this way. And that is saying that it probably wants to lock in. So I see this purple moving average crossing below this orange one and then both dropping below the Kumo cloud, slamming the prices well below 92, 90, back down into the 80s. So this dollar is in trouble. It is in trouble. Uh, so this is going to be one to watch as well. Any rallies I see happening in this market will definitely uh, be sold. So keep your eyes and ears open on that one. And uh, that's all we have for right now. Just wanted to give you a uh, intraday snapshot. Keep your powder dry because I believe that the markets are setting up for the trade of the century right now. And I see some very powerful moves coming this week for uh, the dollar and for the stock indexes. So um, this is definitely make sure you have your, your orders, your tickets ready for this one because it's, it's going to be something. And... Um, Anyone who has been getting chopped up like we all have in these markets these last couple weeks with this just crazy price action, expect to be in the black by the end of this week when these markets start to uh, show their true colors. And as the, the uh, Federal Reserve finally tips their hand that they really can't keep this thing floating any, any longer. Um, I, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of liquidity they can pump into the market it's only so much the PPT can do uh, eventually it's going to get to a point where um, they're just going to lose all control they will you won't see these intraday rallies after you see prices hit a low the robots won't be able to save the market either they're gonna they're just algorithms human beings aren't touching them they've already been programmed that once certain price thresholds hit to dump and that's what's going to happen. So it's going to be pretty fantastic. So I just want to prepare everyone for it. Um, the markets are setting themselves up, like I said, for some very powerful movement. So anyway, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Take what you can and give nothing back.